Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam from MobileTechVideos.com. Today, I want to do something pretty interesting here. I've got my Galaxy S2 for AT&T and I have the Galaxy S3. Now this is the Canadian version, but it's virtually identical to the AT&T version as well. So I'm gonna do a comparison. If anybody has the Galaxy S2 and is thinking about getting the Galaxy S3, I'm maybe gonna show you that it's not necessary. So let me turn these on and I want to show you something pretty cool. These are both running virtually identical ROMs. And I did this to illustrate that uh, some people thinking, oh, I gotta go out and get the S3. I've got the S2, but I really want the S3 because it's running Jelly Bean and it's the latest, it's super fast and all this. But it's not necessarily the truth. Uh, you'll see this Galaxy S2 here is indeed running Android 4.1.2 one of the latest versions of Android to be released. And the Galaxy S3 here is also running Android 4.1.2. And if you need proof, here it is. Oh, we got a bug here. Okay, well that's not showing up, but so even in this case, <laughs> the S2 is better than the S3. Now, the only difference right now, the way I have these two set up, is the S3 has a larger screen, and it's only a little bit larger. You see the quality looks very similar. I wonder if I can do the speed is very similar. I've got uh, two folders here and they open up virtually the same speed. Almost identical. We'll try opening the phone. Oh, look at that. The uh, S2 actually opens up a little bit faster. Let me try. Maybe I hit him wrong. Let's see. Okay. Now that they're both loaded in memory, um, they open up at the same speed. Let's try the messaging. Let's see if I can hit them both. Okay, that was pretty much the same. How about camera? Get over this one and over this one and touch. I, you know, in that one I say the S2 came out a little faster also. This does it, this has the uh, 14 toggle mod applied to it so it doesn't have the little animation but I mean they both are virtually identical. Click the button, pops open, get that little thing, click the button, pops open. You see it has the, oh, there we go, multitasking here, and let's see, we'll pull out, uh, what should we pull out, the gallery, which I don't have any pictures in here, but then we'll pull out email, which is not set up either. But, you see, it works. It works fine. Multitasking works great. Uh, it's on here as well if I long press. Oh, actually, I remember now that on this ROM, the multitasking does not show up. And that's a bug that still needs to be fixed on this particular ROM. Just wanted to illustrate that in case you have the S2 and you're thinking, I need to upgrade to the S3 because it's brand new. It's got all the features that I'm looking for. It's fast. It's not necessarily the case. All you have to do is put on one of the brand new 
jelly bean ROMs that are available for the Galaxy S2. They're working great. Uh, this particular one doesn't have any reported bugs in it right now. The only thing I need to check on is I'm not sure how to get rid of the multitasking tab here. In uh, the S2, or excuse me, the S3, when it's working, not on this version, like I said before, when it's working, you just hold long press on the back button and it will disappear. Uh, that doesn't work for this one. And I'm not sure why. It might be a design feature. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be there all the time. It might be, that might be a bug, I'm not sure. But all in all, the S2 is still a very good, viable choice, even stacked up to its big brother. So that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. It's Sam with MobileTakeVideos.com. Come check us out. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.